everybody, this is Leslie from Black Duck Vintage and I did some really cool sourcing today so I figured I would do a haul video. Um, I went to the flea market of course. Um, normally I don't always hit it on a Friday but I did today and I'll probably go back on Sunday. Um, but I did today and I got some amazing pieces. Um, Ace, my flea market guy called me and said he had gotten some jewelry in that I should head on over. He was saving some pieces for me and I did and boy, I am so glad I did. Um, I got some amazing pieces including a vintage antique, I believe an antique signer ring with a blue zircon. So if you are a Jason Adams fan, which I am a huge Jason Adams fan, if you don't know Jason, uh, just look up Jason Adams, go to his channel, subscribe to him. He is a brilliant, brilliant YouTuber. He knows so much, he has so much to offer. And um, I learned about Blue Zircon in one of his videos, and I actually found a Blue Zircon ring that was a signer ring, and I will be showing you guys that in a bit, and it is amazing. Oh my gosh, it is amazing, and I would not have known that it was Blue Zircon uh, unless I had seen that video. So Jason, if you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, it's amazing. Um, and then I picked up some other pieces too. I had a lady that had called me, um, you know, cause um, my business is on Google and, and my website, blackdogvintagemi.com um, is locally advertised. And I have right on there that I buy jewelry and um, I, help with you know people that are downsizing their jewelry collections for estates and that type of thing and she had called me and said i have all this jewelry and i would like to um sell it and i have all these pieces and then she said you know do you sell anything else and i said yeah i sell you know small home goods sm small pieces for ebay that type of thing and she goes oh i have some of that too and i said great so i had an appointment with her this afternoon went over and saw a few pieces and I picked up a few pieces from her as well. And I'm super excited to show you those too. So, um, and if you like my channel, if you like the things that I bring to you, please think about subscribing to my channel. Um, I could not have uh, done any of this without you. I appreciate everybody who watches me and who comments on my videos and everything because you guys are all amazing and I would not be this successful without each and every one of you. So, um, but if you are new to my channel and you like my pieces, um, if you like me, if you like Angel, who uh, she's not in the video right now, but if you like Angel, my, my, my black dog, please go ahead and subscribe because you'll see a lot more of her, I'm sure in future videos since she's snoozing right now so um but anyway let's go into some of these um i have three pieces of home uh good well actually no a few more a few pieces of home goods that she uh that i got from her and the first piece is actually um a lilique uh a lilique paperweight um now i love lilique i love crystal um i had a a, a set of Lalique champagne flutes that I had in my first wedding. It was like the toast, you know, um, champagne goblets, uh, champagne flutes from the toast. And they broke. They were so delicate. Um, somehow in, I think, my move, one of my moves that I had when I was younger, they mo they broke and it devastated me. And I would do anything to get them back, uh, but they're so insanely expensive now. Um, but anyway, I love Lilique. Um, and this piece is, seriously, it's so gorgeous. And it is a paperweight. It is comes in the box and it has the paperwork and everything. Um, and it is signed, here's the paperwork and everything. And it is signed, but it is an iridescent heart paperweight. Is that not just absolutely phenomenal like it is so it is so gorgeous and it is signed here somewhere Lilika is always so tiny it's signed oh it's signed right down there you can see it kind of right there Lilik. and it is gorgeous but it, it has the box which is just 
amazing. It's amazing. So that will probably go on eBay unless somebody like who sees this like messages me pretty quickly. Um, but that's probably going to go on eBay pretty quickly. Um, so I got that and then I got, um, then I got these little picture frames. Um, so Jay Strongwater is very collectible and, um, I got these little picture. I thought these were so cute. So these are little picture frames, um, from Neiman Marcus that she said they were like a little gift thingy. Um, but they have little clips so you can clip these on something. And they also have little, little things that you can, you know, prop them up if you wanted to put them on a little display. And they are just the cutest little picture frames. And this one is um, just little, there's a couple little rhinestones on either end and then it's enameled, just the cutest little, almost reminds me of like a Christmas frame, but I don't think it's truly Christmas. And you put your picture in somehow. I think you just like place it in there. I'm not really even sure how it works to be honest i'm not even sure how this works because unless you just pop your picture in there somehow i'm not even sure how that works but it's cute um and then look at this one it's the same thing on the back j strong water but look at that with the turtle it's super cute it's super cute but again i'm not really sure how you pop your picture in but you just maybe just place it in there somehow. I don't know. I don't know, but they're cute. They're super cute. And then this one too. And it's the same as the red, but it's in, it's the same as the red in like brass, but it's in like a pewter and blue. It's so cute. I just thought those were adorable. So I grabbed those from her. Um, J Strong Water is a great brand, and I just thought the picture frames were adorable. And then I grabbed these. You know, I love ethnic sorts of stuff. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you know. Um, you guys have known me long enough. I mean, obviously, look at my wall hanging in the back. Um, I love that kind of stuff. Um, I'm really into all of the kind of, I don't know, that kind of motif, I guess. Um, and I found these. Um, so these are these paintings and they're on a leaf. And this is a man and he is kind of um, charming. He's like a snake charmer and he's playing the flute and there's a cobra and it's all painted on a leaf and it's mounted and put in this frame. And I just think this is, so amazing and so amazingly detailed. And I just thought this was so cool. And then um, there's a date on the back here and it says 1029.74. So I'm not really sure, you know, maybe where she found it or where she got it, but, or when, you know, if that's when it was done or when she bought it or when she had it framed, I'm not sure. She wasn't even sure. She wasn't even, she thought she got it at an estate sale. Um, she just thought it was cool, but she just wanted to get rid of them. So, and then that, and you know, she's obviously it's like an Indian, Indian dress, like from India, traditional like dress. And then she's, you know, got the, the water, um, like carrying the water on her head. And that, I think that's cool. I loved it. So I picked up both of those from her. Um, and then I got a bunch of jewelry too. So we're going to go through the jewelry next. I'm going to turn the camera around. So all of this will be available in, all the jewelry will be available in the live. Um, coming up, I'll have the um, the live on uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. That is the lower price starts. It's going to be $10 and under starts. So some of the items that are smaller or um, would be a, a lower price start, the, the, boy, I can't talk today. Those items will go in that live. And then the pieces that will be at higher starts will go in the vintage live on 
Thursday. So I'm those of you guys who have been with me long enough, um, the I used to do a clearance live. It's no longer really a clearance live. It is just a live. Now it's just the live that will be the um, pieces that will be a lower start. So, um, and just kind of, we'll do it that way. So uh, I'm so, super excited So um, to show you this stuff. So this is great. And then I'm probably gonna head back to the um, flea market on Sunday. So I will have another um, haul from that. And then I've got auction stuff coming in to probably tomorrow. So I'll probably do a video on that too. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna get into the haul. Now, don't forget if you are a channel member um, that you do have the ability to purchase from this video. If you are interested in being a channel member so you can purchase from the video, just go ahead into the uh, comments uh, or into the description of the video and you can find out all about being a channel member. Uh, so otherwise, the items will be um, whatever doesn't get purchased by a member will be available Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, so I'm super excited to bring this to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. And I'm going to turn the camera around. And don't forget, if you like it, if you like me, if you like any of it, then feel free to subscribe. I'm really, really, really hoping uh, to build my channel even more. My goal, just so you guys know, I've got a goal. May 23rd, 2024 is my goal. Um, my date that I want to have 2,000 subscribers by. So let's see if we can make it happen. All right. All right. We'll see you when I flip the camera around. Okay. So we're going to go through the items that I purchased from um, this lady that had called me. Um, and the first thing I have, and it's in the original box, it's actually from the Home Shopping Network. And it's the Suzanne Summers collection. And it has, and it's granted, this is kind of in rough shape, this case, but it's a beautiful case. Um, and here it is, Suzanne Summers collection. You open it up. And it is an absolutely gorgeous necklace. And normally I am not one that picks up the clear necklaces very much anymore because they just don't sell like they used to, but this one I really couldn't resist. Um, this one has these absolutely phenomenal cubic zirconium um, stones. And so these are cubic zirconium as opposed to just like rhinestones or crystals. And this is marked, um, here we go. CZ925, and it's made in China, but absolutely phenomenal. It does need maybe a little bit of polishing. It's got a little tarnish to it. Um, it's been stored for a while, and it's got a safety clasp, which is just really, really nice, and then it's got the little box clasp, so this will just, or the push clasp. And then this just, you know, the safety goes like this, but it's a beautiful like collar style necklace and it will just go, try to move this, and it'll just go like straight on a neck. I would put my black neck on here, but it's just, it'll not look right, but it'll just be so beautiful on, um, that it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, to get a measurement on it, it is definitely choker length. Um, and so, you know, to get the proper measurement, um, I have to open it back up. Um, and oh, there we go. Get the proper measurement on it. It is. It's actually not too bad. It's it's about 17 inches. So 17 inches, but oh, look at that sparkle on these. Is that not just like truly amazing? All open back too. So that's, you just know that it's quality. And you know, normally I don't pick up Suzanne Summers pieces. And you know, I'll get the Elizabeth Taylor pieces, Joan Rivers for sure, but Suzanne Summers, I think, is a sleeper. Um, you know, I 
I've had some pieces from her and, you know, I've not really been, it's always been like, eh, you know, but this piece, I was like blown away. I'm like, really? That's Suzanne Summers? Okay. I'm definitely taking that. Um, I just was blown away by it. I had to, I had to have it. I had to have it. Um, so that is absolutely gorgeous. And I will have this available in the live. Um, and if it uh, doesn't go in the live, it will go up on eBay. This one, um, comps on this, I looked them up and they're, they're actually quite, this is a quite desirable necklace. It's a quite, quite nice necklace. And this would be beautiful for a bride. And, you know, we're getting into that season, spring, summer, bridal season. You know, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece for a bride. So I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, so, yeah. Um, next piece. I didn't get a ton from uh, jewelry from this lady. I'm going to go back and get more. Um, but this is another one that I picked up. And I do think I'm going to have to test this. Um, this does look sterling to me. I'll have to go back and test it. I don't know. Um, but look at this necklace. I mean, this necklace is like, it's something else. These are all crystal. It's just an absolutely phenomenal necklace. It's all graduated. Look how, look at that. It's crazy. It is crazy. Look at some of these. Look at, there's a matte one with these open I have to do research on this. These open, um, it's matte with these little open or like shiny polka dots. And then there's those. I, I need to do research on this. I have no idea, but I was like, I need this in my life. Um, there's nothing on this. But it, does, it looks sterling to me, but maybe, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. But it definitely does look sterling. Um, I was really blown away by this necklace and it's so insanely long. Um, you could definitely double this and still have a long necklace. Hold on, let me, let me double it. That's doubled and it's still long. I mean, honestly, you could probably even... Triple. Somebody could easily triple this one. And it's still going to be a beautiful necklace. And that, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's so long. It's, and oh, the faceting on these crystals are just, they remind me almost of like chandelier crystals. It's just, I mean, like, honestly, you guys, this is, like, insane. And it's heavy. Like, I will say this. You're going to need some strong neck muscles with this with this necklace. Definitely are going to need some strong neck muscles. We are looking at a 60-inch length. So this necklace is almost as tall as me, or as long as me. I'm almost as tall as this necklace if I were to open it up. I am 61 inches tall. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's fabulous. It is fabulous. Um, and then she had a Swarovski necklace, which it's a clear one. You know, it's not as desirable as some of the colors, but you know, if you see a Swarovski necklace, it's a, it's a bolo, you know, you can't pass them up. It's a bolo. And then I did pull this out. And ironically, when I was at the flea market, I found the matching earrings. <laughs> so I have a whole set. I have the matching earrings with the necklace. So Swarovski earrings and necklace. Can't go wrong there. Um, then I found this. So, or then she had this. And this is an incredible Monet necklace. This is a highly, highly 
collectible piece and um i'm blanking on the name of this uh I'm blanking on the name of this particular style, but this is a style that is highly collectible. Um, I mean, and the, this heavy gold plate uh, Monet with the thick chains, the long ones, the tassels, all of this, this is all coming right back into style. I mean, what goes around comes around, you guys, seriously. This is, and this is just, a, it's a fantastic necklace. Um, and there you go, Monet. Um, there is an, a bracelet, I think, that go, that is in this collection as well. But the necklaces, the solds, I mean, I'm not talking about what people are selling them for, but the solds, even recently, as recently as February of this year, have been around $150 for this necklace. So, I mean, this is, it's, it's, it's a fantastic piece. It really is a fantastic piece. And so on trend right now, just so on trend. Um, and I love it. It's 22 inches long. It's a 22 inch long necklace and not including the tassel, which I mean, look at, you've got some texture going on with the tassel. You've got two different styles of chain in there. It's, it's awesome. It's a fantastic necklace. Um, seeing on with the necklaces, I got a few Joan Rivers pieces from her. There is the long shoe brooch or sh shoe necklace. So is it this? This is that one. Beautiful. And it has the Joan Rivers right there. Long shoe pendant. And, uh, you know, these are great. These, uh, these are just, you know, Joan Rivers is another. It's a bolo. Like, if you're a reseller, always, always, always pick up anything Joan Rivers. 24-inch um, long necklace there. Um, the other one that I grabbed, and this is on a great little kind of like a twisty chain, but it's the egg. It's like a Fabergé egg. But this one's all gold. I'd have them where they're enameled. Um, this one's all gold. I didn't, I didn't even look up comps or anything on these. I was just like, oh, Joan Rivers, I'm grabbing them. 28 inch length chain on that one. Beautiful. Um, and this one, this is called the Russian Doll. And uh, these are actually pretty collectible. Um, I've seen them, uh, the larger versions. This is small. I don't know comps on this, but I know the larger ones are pretty pretty good. This one's 22 inches. Um, it's a great little piece. Great enameling on there. Super adorable. Um, and then this one, I had not seen anything like it. This is also Joan Rivers. Um, uh, where is that? Joan Rivers. Yeah, Joan Rivers. This is a really pretty multi-strand gold necklace that has all these different textured strands. And again, like this, this is the stuff that's coming back. Now, granted, like some of us never stopped wearing it, but like me, um, but this is, this is cool. Like, you know, the seventies are calling, um, eighties are calling, I guess like this was Joan Rivers, probably eighties or nineties, but this was a throwback, but you know, Mon the Monet stuff, like that's the stuff, I mean, that's my style. I wear that, never stopped wearing it. Um, but that, this is amazing. This is, look at all the different textures of chains. This is amazing. Again, I need to research this, but it was Joan Rivers. I had to have it. I was just like, yep, you know what, I'm taking it. Um, so I got those. Those are all the necklaces I got from her. And I did get some brooches and a couple of pairs of earrings. Um, this is, this looks like a waist to me. It is not signed. Um, it is not signed, but it definitely has that cupcake setting. It has a lot of, it's got a definitely the color of an early waist. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Look at that in the topaz. I don't know why I'm finding all these topaz brooches lately, but I am. I am, but this is beautiful, um, beautiful waist piece. And then uh, here's another waist. This is a set, and this, 
I, this is a first for me. So this is def most definitely a set. So look at this. this, this brooch is phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. And again, in the topazes, but you know, hey, I am, I love these co this colorway. And, but when a waist comes my way, I'm not turning it down. I, I'm not turning it down, even though it's like a colorway that I keep, that keeps popping up in my direction. So this is the brooch. These are the earrings and they most definitely are a set, right? So those are, oops, those are the earrings. Most definitely a set, right? So, but I have never seen this with Weiss before. So there's, yeah, most definitely a set, right? Okay, so watch this. Earrings, signed, signed Weiss. Signed Weiss. There is no signature. Not one, not no signature on the brooch at all. But we know that it's Weiss because the earrings are Weiss. The earrings are signed. So I experience this a lot with like uh, Judy Lee pieces and Beaujolais pieces where the earrings are signed, the brooch is not. But this is actually the first time where I have gotten a set. Now granted, I don't always pick up Weiss sets, but this is the first time I've picked up an actual like Weiss set and then seeing this where the earrings are signed and the brooch is not. I find that absolutely fascinating. So, so many times I say, I am positive this is a Weiss or I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure this is a Weiss, even though it's not signed. Now I can also, and, and I'll say, you know, a lot of times Weiss did produce for department stores and all that, because that is true. They did that. They pr produced a lot for department stores um, where that wasn't signed. But then maybe perhaps this is a brooch that had earrings that matched that were signed and this was not. Who knows? But I thought that was crazy. It was really interesting. Another one. This is a sleeper. Um... I absolutely think this is the most adorable brooch. Beautiful enamel flowers, a little bit of like damage, water damage or something that I need to work on over here, but absolutely adorable. It can be a pendant or a brooch, either way, super cute. It has these adorable matching stud earrings. You don't see stud earrings that often as the match, but adorable matching stud earrings. I would have never guessed this, but this is a very early Avon piece. Avon can be a sleeper, you guys. Avon can definitely be a sleeper. I think that's an adorable brooch set, and ear, you know, brooch and earring set, and that's an Avon. And so many times I hear people say, I, I'll, I never pick up Avon. Avon's not good. Avon's not something I want to pick up or, you know, I'll ever pick up. Don't sleep on Avon. Avon can, Avon can be good. Um, and there's a lot of really collectible lines of Avon that you should always be on the lookout for. But that, I, I had to get it. I thought the color was great. The enameling looked good. Just a little bit of work on cleaning it. I think it's great. Um, okay, look at this. Look at this piece. Is this not absolutely phenomenal? I mean, like, holy cow. Look at how clear this brooch is. Look at how the stone is faceted. It is literally stunning. And this is probably a piece from easily uh, early 1900s, could even be late 1800s. This piece is so absolutely stunning. I had one similar to this once before and there was a huge chip in the stone. This is in absolute perfect condition. I mean, it's a pink stone, but you can see all the way through it. It is gorgeous. The setting is phenomenal. Um, it is a gold plated setting and you can read right on there, Czechoslovakia. It is so, so gorgeous. I think it goes this way. So, so gorgeous. And I am literally in love with this and the clarity. Now, I did clean a lot of these, but the clarity on this is, oh, to die for. 
So those are the pieces that I picked up from the lady that was selling jewelry. Uh, she has more. I'm going to go back, probably get the rest of it. Um, but these were my must-haves. Um, the rest of it was good, but n this was like the, the great. Um, okay, so at the flea market today, I picked up some great pieces too. Um, Ace threw this in for me because he knows I like dogs. So he threw in this adorable little keychain. thought this was adorable. Had to show you guys. A little St. Bernard. So I, I couldn't resist. So adorable. Um, okay, so look at this piece. So isn't this gorgeous? This is a necklace. It is newer. It kind of looks almost like a check piece, but this is newer. It has a beautiful breast chain, beautiful filigree, um, and it is a spring ring, and this is a Liz Palacio, and highly collectible, very good jewelry maker. Um, she is more modern. Um, her pieces can be very, very, very pricey. I have not done comps on this, but this is a beautiful piece. Um, it's like an ode to check pieces. Um, this is a great little pearl brooch. Those are natural Baroque pearls on here with some rhinestones. Um, there are a couple missing pearls on here, but I just thought it was pretty. Um, even just kind of without the pearls, you know, with the pearls that are missing, uh, even an as-is brooch, it's a really pretty one. Um, it does have a little clasp, a C clasp. I was looking for marks on this because a lot of times when they are real pearls, this is a good, you know, this is an actual like precious metal. Uh, these I tested, they are, they are a, just a rhinestone or a, or a crystal. Um, I do not see any marks on this at all. I will test it just in case, but I do not think it is precious metal. But these do seem like they are a Baroque, like freshwater pearl. Um, let's see. I have this beautiful crystal necklace, AB crystals, and it's their station. So we've got the small and then a large, and they're just, you know, evenly spread out like that. Um, but it has, it does have a silver, marked silver, and I haven't tested any of these right now. Um, but it, I will test it, but it is marked silver on the, um, on the clasp. But it's really pretty. And uh, this necklace is... This one's about 21 inches long. So very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, I did get another uh, strand of pearls. This is a natural pearl. Um, very, very, very pale pink. It does have a 925 sterling clasp that is marked on the... There we go, 925 sterling. This does appear to be real sterling. I don't I don't believe that it's not. Um, and if I can get it, there we go. Um, and they are all hand knotted. This is a natural pearl. And you can see there's little divots in them. They're just a really pretty pearl. Very, very pretty pearl. Um, and this one measures, uh, about 16 inches. So just a very, very simple pearl necklace, very elegant and pretty. Um, and then look at this. So AB necklace on a spring ring clasp. Um, there we go on a spring ring, but it's just a very simple, beautiful, long, graduated AB necklace. The only thing that would make this better is if it was hand knotted. It is on like a bead, I don't know, like a bead along cord or like a bead wire. This definitely seems like a restring or um, a more modern string. 
uh, but it's just, I love the length of it. It's super long, you guys. It's like crazy long. It's almost a uh, flapper length, I'd say. Um, but a flapper length or flapper necklace like this would have been either hand knotted or on a chain, bead chain. It's, tw it's 42 inches long, 42 inches, but it's still, it's a fun necklace. It's a great, the beads itself, uh, the beads themselves would be worth a fair amount just on their own, even if you wanted to just cut it apart. But it is a gorgeous necklace, absolutely gorgeous. You can't go wrong, can't go wrong with crystal. Um, and then this is a, another really cool long glass pearl necklace. This is probably, um, I mean, this could be really old. This definitely has a older clasp. It is not marked to sterling. I don't think it's sterling. It's probably, it's probably, uh, I don't know, maybe sterling, uh, sterling plated, silver plate. Um, but it is, this is a gorgeous glass pearl necklace. And this is flapper length. Um, it is uh, 54, or I'm sorry, 56 inches long. And this is a fun, fun necklace. This is definitely probably 19, could be even 1930s. Um, that is the clasp. I, I do need to double check the, uh, make sure there's no dry rot or anything. Clean up those ends. A little bit there's a little verdigree on there so I'm gonna clean that up but it is beautiful I'm gonna go through the necklaces here for you I, get, I guess I'm a little heavy on necklaces so far <laughs> this week um but look at that look at these crystals very beautiful again a topaz kind of a brown topaz color but a B these are absolutely gorgeous and then look at that clasp. That clasp is another beautiful clasp. This is not marked, but I swear, did I not have this clasp on another necklace recently? I felt feel like I did. Um, is there anything written on there? No, nothing written on here, but it's just so pretty. I feel like there's this should be marked, but it's not, it's not marked. I don't know. I'll try to do some research, see if I can figure something out on this. I just feel like this is something, but it's not. It's just a beautiful necklace. It's just beautiful. And this is uh, this is 20 inches. So beautiful 20 inch long necklace. Um, here is a brooch, just a really pretty little like grape, looks like grapes, like a little thing of grapes, super cute. That's the back of it, unmarked, but beautiful. Put that with the brooches. Here is another necklace. Um, this has cloisonne beads, onyx beads, these are onyx, and then some matte glass beads. Um, looks like we might need to do a little bit of cleaning on here. Um, but that is a gorgeous necklace with the cloisonne beads. And I'm a huge fan of cloisonne. Many of you who have been following me, again, many of you who have been following me kind of know the stuff that I'm drawn to. And cloisonne is one of them. Uh, I thought this was really pretty. Now, this is amber. That's amber, and then these little beads right here are amber. And uh, if I turn off one of my lights, and maybe turn off this one, you can probably see it a little bit better. So see how it kind of has that greenish hue? Um, that shows us that that is an amber. And then same with how it kind of does that opaque little bit of a green to it that shows the amber turns like that opaque got a green hint of green 
Um, the greener that it gets, the more opaque green, the higher, from what I understand at least. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but the more opaque and the more green it gets, the, I guess, the older it is or something like that, or the more uh, higher quality or something. So um, this might be closer to like copal, which is like a, uh, maybe a, would be considered a newer amber. Oh no, I got this and the clasp is not correct. I, I might have to add a clasp to this. Oh shoot. And that does appear to be sterling. So I'll have to find a sterling clasp for this which is not a big deal. I just need to find one. Well, I'm glad I noticed that. Um, this is a cool vintage necklace. Now, I don't know that, the, I don't think this is the original class because this is gold tone, or original necklace. This is a gold tone necklace uh, on this cross and this is all silver tone. So I can tell you that already, it's not natural or it's not real. Or real, it's not the original. And also, this isn't the original pendant veil. I can tell you that. Two different tones. But this cross itself, the cross itself is actually bakelite. Well, it yeah, it's bakelite. It could be celluloid. Um, when I did a bakelite test on it, the um simichrome uh was actually very, very light. But then I ran it under hot water and the smell was very, very potent. So um, it could be it could be celluloid because sometimes my nose is a little odd when it comes to smelling the differences. But um, I do think that this is actually Bakelite. But it's incredible. This cross is incredible. But um, I'm just going to, when I sell it, I'm going to sell it all together. Because I do think it looks good on this necklace, personally. Um, uh, I found this. It is a St. Christopher medal. And it is sterling. So I grabbed it. My dad always had a St. Christopher medal. So I figured... I would grab it. And I found that, that it was interesting because it's a soccer player. So I thought it was kind of cool. Um, this necklace, this is just a like West German or it might be, what does it say? Oh, it is smart. It's smart. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's a Hong Kong. Okay, Hong Kong. But look at these beads. These beads are kind of fabulous, aren't they? With the those bead caps and the green and the gold and everything. I just thought this was fabulous. So I had to grab it. I just had to. So, and it's long. So I thought it was kind of cool. So we just had to make it ours. I thought somebody might like it. If not, I like it. So it's a good summer necklace, if anything. Um, it's probably at least 20 inches uh, at the very shortest. Because um, it's on the short, like the, sh almost the shortest right now. And it is, yeah, it's about 20 inches. And then it can go another three. So like probably 19 and a half to 23 inches. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good size on that. Um, I'm doing the ring, that signer ring last. Um, that's a cute little sunburst with the AB stones and the pearl. And that is an Emmons. So that I thought was really pretty. And then, um, oh, here's a bracelet. I thought this one was really pretty. So this is just like got some really pretty glass uh, crystals in here. There's a uh, really pretty Ravioli stone and some other really pretty crystals. It's not marked at all, but it's cool. I thought that was a really pretty 
pretty piece. So I grabbed it. I, colorful. I liked it. It was colorful. Um, why I grabbed this, I don't know. I just thought the duck was adorable. It is an old Hallmark, 1984 Hallmark duck. And I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. So I, I don't know. I grabbed it. It was in like the little dollar bin. Um, all right. A couple more here. And then we'll get to the ring. All right. Look at that butterfly. So stinking cute. I loved this butterfly. It's got a little C clasp. Just a simple little butterfly with this kind of, um, I don't even know what this is called but it's super cute. Um, and then I loved this little dog. I think that's a dog. Could be a cat, but I think it's a dog. And this is, it says Landa, which I am not familiar with Landa, but I thought it was cute. And then we have two very old pieces. So this is a little feather that has the little seed pearls. They're little glass seed pearls. And it's on a gold tone piece. And I don't think it's marked at all. Unless it's marked on the pin back. No. But it's a C class. You know that's old. It's really old. It's really pretty. Cute little feather. And then look at this. I found an opal last week. I found an opal today. Look at that beautiful opal. Look at that flash in there. I am going to have to, um, I am going to have to mis uh, put some oil on there because it looks like it's developing maybe a little crack in there. We don't want that to go all the way through. So pretty. And it says, uh, 12 20th gold fill maybe 12 carat 1 20th gold fill I'm thinking so but look at that that is such a phenomenal opal but I'm just worried about the cracking on that but had to grab it okay the coup de gras look at this ring look at this ring now that is a blue zircon when I tested it, it tests as a spinel, and I do believe that the spinel and blue zircon are the same. You know, it would it would be a blue zircon if it tests as a spinel. So, tested as a spinel. Just look at the flash in that; it is so gorgeous. Now, what I'm not positive of, so these stones are pretty. Like a couple of them are missing or discolored, and then same over here, but then there's this one stone. Let's see if I can get it to, I'm gonna try to do a close up here. Come on, look at that. So, okay, so this stone right here, that stone is in great condition, and then the rest are just really kind of ick. And then look at that flash, whoo. Um, and then the same, all of those, they're either missing or icky. Um, and then you've got this incredible stone right here. And then, but the, you have this one here that's just beautiful. That tested into the sapphire range. This tested as a spinel. So, and then spinel, from what I understand, is in the blue zircon family. Um, that is literally... Look at that. It's so, it's so crazy amazing. And then, so I knew it was special. It was so, it was almost black, but that stone kind of had this flash and I was like, that's, that's really nice. So I grabbed it. And so it said sterling and he knew it was sterling. So it was in the little sterling thing. So I grabbed it and like, it was almost black over on this side, but I cleaned it up and I'm like, oh, it's a signer. Ooh, it's a signer. And it almost looks like an engagement ring or something. I think it's like an engagement ring. And so I think this is absolutely is so stunning. 
and so absolutely amazeballs that I don't know. But my feeling is, is I think I want to have the stones replaced on the sides. And I'm thinking of like that tested as, like I said, I think, I think I said a white sapphire. Um, and so what I think I'm going to have these replaced and see if I can have them all replaced as like a white sapphire or maybe even, um, find out if it, how much little diamond chip thingies would be or something. Um, but that is an amazing, amazing, amazing ring. Look at that. Look at that. Trying to get a good flash in there. Whew. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, let me know in the comments. What's your favorite piece? What do you like? Tell me all about it. Um, I, I just love to hear what your favorite pieces are and give me your opinion on what you like in my haul. There will be more coming up. This is just what I got today. So let me know. And thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, tune in for the next video. And I can't wait to see you all on the lives. Thanks so much. Love you all. Bye.